tucked away a block from Notre Dame is Shakespeare and Company Books. Hi, Sylvia. Hello. Long a favorite of book lovers, the shop was started by an American idealist. Shakespeare and Company started in 1919 by a formidable woman called Sylvia Beach. Her bookshop became kind of a center for American expats like Hemingway, Fitzgerald, and a lot of French writers like Paul Valéry as well. In 1944, Sylvia closed her store rather than sell books to the Nazis. After the war was over, American George Whitman opened a new store and soon paid tribute to Sylvia using the Shakespeare and Company name, and then further honored her naming his daughter, who now runs the store, Sylvia Beach Whitman. Today, Shakespeare and Company is a literary haven and home to what George called tumbleweeds. The tumbleweeds are aspiring writers who for years have had the chance to work and live in the shop. The store's ground floor is a labyrinth with fascinating titles tucked into every nook and cranny. The second floor of Shakespeare's books is the library. Here, you're greeted with a quote overhead which says, be not inhospitable to strangers, lest they be angels in disguise. And the next room is perhaps my favorite in the whole shop. In here, we have one of the many beds on which the tumbleweeds sleep. Um, and we also have a piano. I've been here several times when talented young pianists have been performing and it's been absolutely magical. If you're looking to explore something a little bit different in Paris, Shakespeare and Company is surely the place to see. And where else in the world can you read a book within view of Notre Dame? I can even hear the bells ringing. Viking river cruises, let us share a bit of the real Europe with you.